Five and below. Hello, can you go five and below? Hey. Motivation to sew. Hello, can you go five and below? Hey. Motivation to sew. We go on five, five and below. Motivation to sew. We get ready to sew. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs. And in this video, this is the third showing for the series titled Five and Below. Now, every Sunday through April 3rd, with the grand finale being April 10th, myself as well as Celicia from Creativity by T, we will be posting a garment every week with a different category. Now, we will be posting both on Instagram as well as on here on YouTube, with YouTube being a pattern review, and then on Instagram, we will post more photos there as well. You can also follow the hashtag, hashtag sewing five and below, which I will include in the description box below, and you can also see it on the screen as well. Also, please tag myself as well as Talisha from Creativity by T. Make sure that you put the pattern number, how many pieces you'd, you use, and use the hashtag sewing five and below. All right, so we do have some shout outs, but before I do that, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the shout out for this. So we have two shout outs. The first one is actually from last week, but by the time I searched the hashtag and did my video, I missed um, seeing this individual's name. So the first one is Tequila B from True Love Design here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. Now Tequila, Tequila, she made the Iceberg Maxi Dress by Alice and Co. Pattern. It has four pattern pieces. So Whoa! give it up for Tequila, yeah. So just keep using that hashtag and you know you we will definitely spotlight you as well. So the second person that I have as a shout out this week is Tanya Bryant, Tanya, Tanya D. Bryant. So Tanya Bryant, she is here on YouTube at Tanya D. Bryant, which I will go ahead and put up on the screen for you guys to follow them, as well as on Instagram, Tanya D. Bryant. No, actually on Instagram, she's just lovely living. So follow her on Instagram as well. She made three different outfits. So she made a top utilizing McCall 765A, and I believe she did view a on that pattern. If I'm incorrect, you guys know I'll put it up on the screen. And the top, she used five pieces for cape. So in her post, she said that she was able to tap into her Wonder Woman superpowers. Yes. So if you guys know, Wonder Woman is from like 1986. So she was able to tap into some Wonder Woman. So you know, Tanya got some power. All right, so the second item that she made was some pants. And the pants that she did, she did um, New Look 6689 for the pants, and I think she did view B on that pattern. Now, she used like this gorgeous eggplant uh, knit fabric, which I thought was amazing. So, yes, that pattern, three pattern pieces, y'all, so. She did amazing with those pants. And the last item that she did, she did a skirt. And she used one of my favorite patterns because I have done this as well and I'll put it up on the screen. It's Simplicity 8982, the skirt, which she did view E, which is the shorter skirt. And she used the rest of her knit fabric in order to do that. Now I did mine in a mustard yellow. And like I said, it's very minimal pattern pieces. It's only three. So you're able to do that pattern as well as the hashtag sewing five and below. So let's go ahead and give Tanya D. Bryant a round of applause. You know you make me yes. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this video. Now, before we get started, I wanna tell you that we post every week every week on Sunday, and the posting time is 10 a.m. 
Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure that you definitely put it on your calendar. Also set a reminder and also make that click on that notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new video and you will not miss any of these five and below series. Simply because Talisha and I, we both are taking note of the participation and I will have a giveaway as well as Talisha. We will both have giveaways on both of our channels at the end of the five and below series. You wouldn't want to miss either one of the prizes because both of the prizes you would definitely want. Okay. <laughs> now I'm not sure what Talisha have in her prize pack, but you will definitely want my prize pack. And we will announce that towards the end of the series. I'm not announcing it now. I need you guys to stick around for each look because we are also giving pattern recommendations that you can use throughout the series. Sometimes I will give more than one pattern. Sometimes I would only give one pattern. So just make sure you stay locked to the channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this pattern review. All right, so you guys, this week, the category is pants, okay? So we go go ahead and dance too much booty in your pants. Too much booty in the pants. Too much booty in the pants. Too much booty in the pants. All right, so listen. This is not only pants, but it's a revisit of a pant pattern that you have done. Now it's not pants, it's basically sewing bottoms. So here on my channel, I am sewing pants and you have to go over to Talisha's channel and see what she's sewing. However, she's not sewing pants, okay? So this week is all about bottoms and I decided to choose pants this week for my bottoms. So. This is also, like I just said, a revisit of a pattern that you have sewn previously. So you guys know I have sewn this pattern before and it's not my TNT pattern. For those of you guys wondering, what pants pattern have I sewn? So you guys know my TNT pattern is Simplicity 1165, which I will not recommend that pattern to you guys um, because I know, one, you cannot get that at Joann's and two, it is not five pattern pieces. It's actually six pattern pieces in order to create those pants. So I cannot recommend that pattern to you guys for the five and below, but I will recommend that pattern to you as a great pattern if you can pick it up, eBay, Etsy, or Amazon. So the pattern that I chose is Simplicity 9268 View B, which is the Mimi G Jenny pants. Okay, so if you guys remember Jasmine, from the movie Aladdin, it looks like the genie pants, okay? <laughs> the jasmine pants, the genie pants, the Aladdin pants, whatever you wanna call them. So I made this, and it's funny because when I made these pants, Talisha and I, we did a collaboration on a bomber jacket, right? And I had an inspiration photo, which I'll go ahead and put up that inspiration photo as well to show you how I came about this pattern. All right, so when we did the bomber jacket and I did these pants previously with that bomber jacket, I used a Ankara plaid fabric and it was a big hit. And I also did a complete pattern review for this pattern. So I'm gonna pretty much spare you the details and not tell you everything once again because you can look up and see that pattern review. <laughs> for the actual bomber jacket, I didn't really get into details about the pants in that tutorial, so I'm gonna give you some hit to miss with this pattern as well. Um, but yes, yeah, so this one is going to be all about the pants, the goods, the bads, the uglies, if I have any, but this is a good pattern, I'll tell you that, okay? Um, but other than that, let's go ahead and get into this pattern description. All right, so the pattern description says basically, it is a Mrs. Bra top with elastic and self ties, pull on wide leg pants, are gathered into ankle elastic and have side seam pockets. All right, so view A is the bra. It also has elastic at the back of the bra and then view B, which is the pants, the genie pants, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the notions used. 
So the notions used for this pattern, you just need elastic, okay? So it's super easy to put together because if you look at my video Friday, when I did the business pants, when I did that so long, it's put together exactly the same way. The only difference is uh, instead of inserting a one inch wide elastic, you will create three rows of casing. So you would um, stitch at five eighths of an inch for the first um, casing. And then that second casing, you would stitch at one and one fourth inch to create a three roll of casing for three rolls of elastic for that casing, okay? And you would just insert the elastic using a half inch wide elastic is the only notion that you need. Now on the back of the pattern, it does say that you need five and five eighths yards of elastic. However, I only used four yards and I made a note on my pattern because after I, I cut my waist, which you guys know that my waist is a 32 inch waist, I did not need a 32 inch. So I ended up wasting 12 inches for the first cut. So when I cut a 32 inch, I needed to go down about a good nine and a half inches. So I cut my elastic at 20 and a half. Now I wrote that on my pattern um, instruction simply because the next time I make this pants, which I know I will make these pants again, I don't need to cut 32 inches, you know, and waist, you know, 11 and a half inches. I could just cut a piece of elastic 20 and a half inches and it gives me one inch to cross over and zigzag stitch it closed. So that's just a tip that you guys could do after you cut your first roll of your waist measurement, make sure you measure how much you cut off and then just cut the other two rolls of elastic for your waist, the same measurement. But the only notion that you need is elastic. I use four yards, but the but the back of the pattern says to use five and five eighths yard of a half inch wide elastic. I use non-roll elastic, but if you wanna use knit, you can. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the pattern pieces used for, this, for these pants. All right, so the pattern pieces used for these pants, you need a total of six, but one of them do not count, okay? So actually it's only five pieces for these pants. All right, so the pattern pieces that you need is pattern piece number eight, your front, pattern piece number nine, your back, pattern piece number 10, your pocket, Pattern piece 11, the front casing. Pattern piece number 12, your back casing. And then pattern piece number 13 is your leg elastic, okay? So the leg elastic does not count because you're not cutting that out of fabric. You're just cutting that out of elastic. So that part does not count. So it is only five pattern pieces that you would have to cut out of fabric, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the fabric used. So the fabric used for this in order for me to create these pants, I use crepe fabric, some black crepe that I purchased from fabric.com many moons ago. When I say many moons ago, this has been in my stash for at least three to four years, okay? It's been hiding in my stash. I originally purchased uh, this, this fabric, which I'm gonna put the fabric name on the screen. I purchased it, I purchased it from fabric.com to create Mimi G's um, vest with the pants. It's Simplicity 8177, which I'll go ahead and put up on the screen as well. And I created that in an Ankara print. So because I created it in an Ankara print, I did not want to create it again because it's a lot of fabric, by the way, um, in just the solid black or whatever, which I'm pretty sure I will make that pattern again sometime. I don't know when, okay? <laughs> but that's the fabric used for this this pattern, which, which was the crepe. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the pattern sizing. So the pattern sizing for this pattern, um, it comes in six to 14 and then 16 to 24 for the uh, pattern size. The size that I cut was a size 18 for the pant and I didn't need to do anything to it or anything, I didn't make any modifications, which is, did I make any modifications? Absolutely not. I did not need to make any modifications because the elastic is supposed to be right at your waist. So these are pretty much high waisted pants, which is why I love the style of this, um, these pants, because 
Most of the time I wear my pants right at my belly button. I do not wear them on at my hips or anything. I do not wear my pants at my natural waist. Majority of my pants is right at my belly button. If for some reason I get high rise pants or whatever, it's right at my natural waist. And like I said, my natural waist fluctuate between 31 and a half and 32, no more than 33, depending on how I'm eating that week, okay? So um, yeah, I did not make any modifications to um, this pattern whatsoever. All right, so now that I talked about modification, let's talk about did, it, did the photos look like the drawing on the pattern envelope? All right, so for this pattern, it looks exactly like the pattern envelope, but like I said, I have sewn these pants before, so of course I knew exactly what I needed to do in order to create these uh, pants. So it wasn't like I, it was the first time of me doing these pants, it's actually the second time of me doing these pants. So therefore, there, I didn't have any issues with that. You know, like I did not use the pattern instructions because I really didn't need to, because I knew these, because I did use the instruction instructions the first time I did this pattern and they're very clear. So just to let you know that the instructions are easy to follow as well. All right, so let's get into my likes and dislikes for the pattern. So there's no dislikes whatsoever. This is another week, week three of another pattern that I like. I love this pattern and I'm pretty sure I will make these pants again. Um, this has been one of the things, I could actually say that this is a TNT pattern outside of 1165. Even though 1165 is a TNT pattern, I could actually say with me making this a second time, this could become a TNT pattern as well. All right, so now that I talked about my likes and dislikes for the pattern, Let's go ahead and get into first time experiences. Did I have any first time experiences? No, I have done everything before <laughs> that I have done for this pattern. So there's no first time experiences whatsoever. All right, so let's go ahead and get into sewing skill level. All right, so for this pattern, this pattern is actually beginner friendly. The only thing is the casing, you know, inserting three rolls of elastic. But like I just said, if you watched my video from Friday, when I walked you through making the business pants, or if you go back to my video where I did 1165, you will see that the construction of these pants are exactly similar to doing elastic pants. The only difference is creating two more rolls of casing. That's it. But other than that, no, um, I feel like this pattern is beginner friendly for sure. And you would insert the elastic at the leg area the same way that you do for your um, waist. So you would basically just fold up your hem and then create a stitching line, five eighths of an inch and then one and one fourth inch um, seam allowance and then insert your three rows of elastic and you would cut your elastic based off of your leg elastic guide, which is pattern piece number 13. All right, so let's talk about, you know, pattern recommendations. What pattern, what pant patterns would I recommend to you guys? All right, so I'm gonna recommend two patterns to you guys, okay? The first one is what I just <laughs> told you guys about, Simplicity 9227, hashtag sewing five and below, only because that pattern piece is four pattern pieces. Um, it's your front, your back, your pockets, and your casing, and I did a sew along for that. So you could go to that sew along, you could pick the pattern up, and then go to the sew along and sew that pattern. The second pattern that I'm going to recommend to you guys this week is a pattern that I actually did a poll for for my March sewing plans. And in that video, which I'll go ahead and link that in the cards and in the description box below to my March sewing plans, I told you about Butterick 6718. I'm sorry, 6178. I'll put the pattern up on the screen. All right, so these are pretty much like gachos or culotte pants or whatever, and guess what? It's only four pattern pieces. You have your front, your back, your waistband, and your pockets. Four pattern pieces and you're done. Okay, so that is the pattern that I will recommend to you guys, Butterick 6178, as my pant pattern this week as my pattern recommendations, all right? 
So let's go ahead and get into what I sewed this pattern again. I just pretty much showed you that. Yes, I would definitely sew this pattern again. It's one of those patterns, to be honest with you guys, this pattern took me two hours because I did stop to, you know, eat and all that good stuff because, you know, currently out of town. So <laughs> I had to get this video done um, in the middle of the week. So um, it, I normally could get the video done towards the end of the week, but because I was going out of town, I had to get it done in the middle of the week. So I had to film this pretty early, you know, in order to get it done before going out of town um, this past week. All right, so now that I told you I would sew it again, let's go ahead and get into what I recommend this to others and my pattern rating. So would I recommend this to others? Absolutely, yes. This is a good pattern and this pattern actually came out um, spring of 2021. Um, Mimi G just released the pant sew along um, that I think Brittany J Jones actually did the sew along for, but she just released it, um, I wanna say this month, a couple of weeks ago or so, but it's a video now up on the pant. If you struggle with doing pants or whatever, Simplicity 9268, Mimi G's video is now live where you could go and do the sew along with, I believe Brittany did the sew along for that pattern as well. I know I did see the bra, the bra um, for it. I wanna say way back in like, I wanna say March, April timeframe of last year and I just seen the pants post. Um, not too long ago. So yes, I would recommend this pattern to others. So let's talk about my pattern rating. So once again, this is the third week in a row, five out of five. I love this pattern. I'm doing it again. So yeah, that is my entire <laughs> um, pattern review for this pattern, Simplicity 9268. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. All right, so you gotta stay tuned for next week because it's a different category. And if you sew anything this week, make sure you use the hashtag sewing five and below. Also tag myself as well as Talisha so we could like, share, and comment on your creation. All right, and you could also be featured in a shout out next week as well. So that's all that I have for you in this video. So I'll catch you in the next video and as always. Motivation to sew, we going five, five feet below. Motivation to sew, we getting ready to sew. Come on, y'all, let's get ready to sew.